No, unless they watch my birthday vlog. Today's my birthday. Yeah, and today's her birthday. Which, if you haven't, go watch my birthday vlog. Ain't she beautiful? Just look at her. Just give her the side real fast. Give him face. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> they put the wrong door on our house. The good thing is, the door is so much better than the one we paid for. So, and the reason that happened is, right, so, you get to the story. Sorry. I don't know the story. <laughs> so, the reason that happened is because, like he said, like, the door that we wanted, um, we were told was an add-on. It was more expensive, right? So, we thought we was going to get, like, a basic white door, like, you know, like, you know, just the basic door. And we didn't want that. So, we found the door with a quarter pound of glass at the top. I was like, oh, that's nice, you know, it was a couple of hundred dollars or whatever. So he's like, let's just do that. So we had originally added that oh, to the, the basic contract. basic white door is what we thought we were getting? Yeah. Oh. So we had originally added the door with the quarter pound of glass at the top to the contract for a couple of extra dollars um, because we didn't want the basic door. When we got to the design center, lady was like, oh yeah, you upgraded your door to this. You know, this is the door that comes on it and that's the door that we really wanted. So he was like, oh, Shoot, like you know, like just switch it back out. Like you save some money, we get the door we really want. So like, we got our money story. back from the door. Right. Yep. So they updated the contract, changed the door, out, switch it out, and you know we pull up today, and it's the door that we had originally paid, paid for. for in the contract um, that we got taken out, but it's on there because I they probably just forgot to um, update the auto or whatever. So I mean, ultimately we ain't paying for it, but we still got. You and know, it's cute. That door. It looks better than the one I thought I wanted. Yeah. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Initially, we thought it was cute. I've just been thinking about it and trying to figure out, do I make a big deal of this? <laughs> I finally told Keyshawn, like, yeah, I don't like it. Oh, Sean reached out to Brad and just at what's going on like did y'all so also in contracts for build a great homes there in our contract anyway i can't speak for everybody but in our contract there is a space that says if the builder um, comes up short with an ob with a product or something something doesn't check out so let's say they run out of your door they are allowed to just give you what is comparable i wanted to know if this was a situation where you know they ran out of stuff or was this a genuine mistake and he said it was a mistake that it was a ma uh, they made they messed up with the ordering that it would take a couple weeks for the new door to come in but funny enough reason why i grabbed my camera is because sean just texted me like three minutes later and said that brad just told him that our door is now at the warehouse so it's like what are y'all doing you know like what are y'all doing because <laughs> You put the craftsman door on our house, first of all. Then when we address you about it, it's been probably like a week and a half since they had that door there. But then when we address you about it, you say, oh, it's going to take a couple weeks. And then five minutes later, you text back and be like, oh, actually, it's at the warehouse. So it's like, I don't know. Because <laughs> my house is cute. Oh. <sighs> Our neighbors are getting, um, they're getting caulking right now. The guy's out here working hard. And also he is, um, we're, we're in the car because the construction workers are putting down hay because we're getting ready to go into drywall. And Sean was saying that they probably just don't want to be tracking dirt into the house. So they, they putting something down. He dropped something off in the back too. We're probably about to go ahead and get out since he's going to the back. We can sneak in the front door. Hey, I'm gonna walk through my front door. <laughs> Our 
basement room is here. Uh, they built the island. So the island gonna go there. The office is completely built out. Here's the pantry with the window. Excuse me, I'm sorry y'all. Our stairs. Oh my God. Keyshawn hasn't even come in the house yet. So he hasn't even seen this. Y'all, <laughs> nuts, absolutely nuts. Look at my house. I am on top of the world right now. We're entering the master bedroom. So you enter, then we have this pretty arch, and then we'll put like a little little welcome table right here for me and my honey. And then we're gonna get a picture made, like a painting made of the two of us, and I'm gonna put it right here. Then you enter the room. Sorry I'm breathing hard, y'all. Just climbed the stairs and it's cold. And then right here, we're gonna have some double doors. And I'm gonna put some gold pools, like brass. Oh my God, it's gonna be so sexy. Y'all just gotta wait. I might do black. I haven't gotten there. I'm thinking about doing the gold. And then right here is where our vanity and our mirror is gonna go. Mm -hmm. Here will be the bathtub. I guess this is just here as a placeholder. I'm not sure. And then we're gonna have a shower with a seat right here. <laughs> Y'all, this is crazy. And then Keyshawn got a light above his shower so he could see himself. And then go into this closet and that's gonna be the toilet bowl. And now we're walking into our closet. This is our closet. It's very long and narrow, but I'm gonna make the best of it. That's all I have to say about the closet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now I'm walking out of the bedroom, and on the and on the same floor as us, you enter the laundry room, and this is gonna be the washer and dryer. And I didn't get the sink, so that space is gonna be empty, and I'm gonna get a cabinet to put my brooms and stuff. And then you walk this way. It's gonna be a closet right here, a linen closet. I've always had enough of what I needed and I ain't got the Woo! Okay, now we're on the one, two, three, we're on the fourth floor of the house. <laughs> you heard me. So then you <laughs> over here is gonna be our gym on the fourth floor. And we only got one window in here, which is good. I wanna put a bunch of like crazy lights and stuff and some like gym excitement things, you know, stuff to make you actually want to work out. And then here is the bathroom for guests. So family, if y'all watching this, this is where y'all gonna be bathing at. And then over here is going to be the second um, guest room and the closet here. I didn't show the other closet, but closet's there. And where Sean's coming out is the main guest room. This is probably gonna be the parental suite. No, I think it's that one. That one's bigger. Whichever one of these is bigger. I think it's this one because of the windows. Yeah. So whenever my parents come or some elders come from the Bahamas. Oh, we got kids, the oldest. They're gonna get this room. Everybody else have to get whatever rooms left. left. And then when you walk out of the room, we're gonna have some, you know, some protection right here so you don't fall over. But this is the view from upstairs. Downstairs. Yeah, I'm I'm hella geeked. This is so surreal. Never in 50,000 years. You know, like you, you want something, but you don't really know what's available to you. And then when you find it, and your heart still gets happy every time. Look at the arch in my bedroom. Y'all not gonna be able to tell me nothing when this drywall go up and this arch start looking like it's supposed to be looking. Huh. 
Then we added a window up there just so you could get a little light. That was extra child. You know, they like to they like to charge you for everything. This is gonna be such a nice cozy gym. Yeah, that's what that was the plan. I mean, the house come like that. You just have to add extra. Like we could have gotten another window right here. So it would have been a window here by the closet and then this one. But because this is gonna be a gym and maybe even a nursery one day, but because it's the smallest room, it wouldn't make sense to put the baby in a bigger room when we got grown folks coming. It's gonna be the gym until we get some kitties. <sighs> Y'all, bless this house, Lord. This is just, it's just too much. Yeah, so like I was saying, we'll probably move the gym once we get a kitty because I feel like this is the perfect room for a nursery. It's small, it only has one small window. It won't be too much light when I need the baby to be asleep. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to this vlog. I'll see you in the next one.